Thanks for visiting CarverBanjos.com. My name is Brian Carver. This is the small workshop where I build every banjo kit by hand. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a couple different banjo kit models I have available. I'm going to show you how easy it is to assemble them. And you're going to see how great they play and how great they sound. I have put a couple of thin coats of varnish on the top and bottom plates and the neck. And a thin coat of teak oil on the fretboard to help preserve and protect the wood. So I think we are ready to start assembling. Take the bottom plate. The hoop, the tone ring, the drum head, and the top plate. So make sure those holes are lined up. Turn your piece over and uh, you can start screwing everything together. Right now I'm just getting them all started. I'm not really cranking them down or anything. But you can see we've got a gap that goes all the way around between the top and bottom plate. I'm going to start tightening them down and this, you know, it takes a little bit of force. Uh, just start, you know, three or four quarter turns per screw and uh, do opposite, like an opposite crisscross pattern. Like uh, if you were uh, tightening the lug nuts on your car tire. Alright, next step, we are going to attach the neck. And again, it has pre-drilled holes, two screws go in. There we go. The neck is attached. Again, just make sure there's no gap between both parts. You can see how easy this goes together. You don't need any fancy tools. You don't need a fancy workshop. You can do this just about anywhere. Our next step is adding the machine tuning pegs. This is where your small Phillips head screwdriver comes in handy. Alright, all the pegs are in place. Last step, strings. These are steel strings. Light gauge. And they use a ball end. And that ball end works great uh, with this tailpiece design. ball stops it from uh, going through. Put it through the hole in the post. Uh, these pegs have two holes to choose from. Um, it doesn't really matter which hole you put it through. They're going to do the same, mm -hmm. same job no matter what. So I, it's just a a visual preference at this point, I think, which Holy decided to put it through in the post. Alright, last string. Again, 
there are two holes to choose from on these tuning machine posts. Um, especially for the fifth string, I use the bottom hole because if you use the top hole, the string will be floating way above the fretboard. Standard banjo bridge, slide under the strings, and uh, to have proper intonation for the instrument, the bridge the bridge needs to rest in the right spot. Now, the way to figure out exactly where that bridge needs to go, you find you count up to the twelfth fret, which is right here. And you measure the distance from the 0 fret to the 12th fret. And double it. This distance is exactly the same as this distance. Now one thing I've noticed with dealing with the, this 0 fret, that sometimes if you pluck the strings really hard, you'll kind of get a buzz here on this 0 fret. Here right there. So, um, the best fix I've found is just get a rubber band or a piece of string or something and uh, slide it on here. And put it between the nut and the fret zero. This will kind of pull the uh, strings down against the, the fret nice and tight so you won't hear any buzzing. Intonation is great. I think the string action is perfect all the way across the fretboard. Um, and it's, it sounds really loud, you know, this is an instrument that you can take to a jam session and you'll be heard. Here is a side-by-side -side of the, the full-size DIY kit and the travel-size DIY kit. Um, the full-size goes together exactly the same way. The scale on the full size is 26 inches, 26 and a quarter inches, and the scale on the travel size is about 21 inches. Uh, you can see they both use an 8 inch drum head. The uh, body is exactly the same, and the necks are very similar, just this one is scaled down. It's very loud and bright. And this is standard G tuning. And last, for just a couple examples, I can show you. I've got these kits in uh, different colors, different veneer overlays, fretted, fretless, options, uh, full size or travel size. Um, you can see them all in detail on my website, carverbanjos.com.